Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? It's your boy, OG Black. Um, here's a good story I got for you guys today. Remember, this life, you guys don't want to get into it. It's not a life, really, that, that you could brag about or tell anybody about and be like, Hey, yeah, hey, man, you know, you're at dinner with your family and your friends, you know, and everyone's telling all these nice things about work and stuff and things that happen at work. Like, oh, don't you hate when Joe does this and don't you hate when Eric does that? Your boy OG Black, I mean, I got... I know some things that happen. I've worked before in my life a lot, but a lot of the things that I know about are from the criminal element of the life of of of, of, of a criminal. You know, I've been I've been in so many situations, um, in so many awkward ways. Um, you know, my channel is so people can get out of this life, so they can not fall into my footsteps. You know, um, this show I'm doing today it's for a good friend of mine. You know who you are, Cobra. What's up, Cobra? Um, Cobra is one of my um, subscribers or fans or someone that subscribed to my show. I don't even know how to say you guys, what you guys are, um, but it's part of part of part of the family, you know. Uh, and uh, OG Black Show, the OG Black Fam, you know, the OG Black Show family. Um, he's part of it. Um, so I, I'm good looking out, Cobra. Good look on everything you've done so far. Thank you, man. I hope that everything we do later works out. What's up to my boy Pang? To my boy Paul, to Alexa, to everybody out there, take care of yourselves. Um, my story that I got is when I started, when I was really young in this one. Um, I had a buddy who had a brother who was half Canadian, right? Um, growing up in California, in Southern California, everybody smokes weed, everybody smokes yesca. Fools are puffing out the major draw over here, right? Um, Northern California back in those days was an epicenter for growing. They grew some of the best dank out there. I gotta say in Mendocino County and all that. Um, my homie's brother came down from Canada. You know, my, my homie Eric is from Huntington Beach, California. Shout out to my boy Eric. I told him that I was gonna, I asked him about an hour ago if I could make this story on him. He said, yeah, go ahead, dude, I ain't tripping. Um, my buddy Eric's family's from Huntington Beach, California. They're a good, proper family. I met Eric in the drug business game. I uh, met him in, um, in junior high from Pop Warner football. But anyways, long story short, he said his brother was coming down from Canada. So his brother, you know, has come down from Canada. Me being here from California, I wanted him to have a good time. So I was like, hey, homie, check it out. Your brother Eric, when he gets here, let's fucking blaze that fool out. Let's get him hella high on that fucking, uh, on some good drill. He's all full, my brother smokes. I was like, cool. So that fool actually brought some weed all the way from Canada over here. He couldn't do it. He's like, I don't know if the people are gonna have weed. I'm fucking tripping. And we're like, hell yeah. So this dude, right, tries our butt out. He's like, oh, it's okay, but try this one. Oh man, it was good. And it was outdoor. My boy knew what he was doing. Eric's brother knew how to grow. He said everybody in Canada knew what they were doing, that they were being growing and everything, right? And he was telling me his prices. The only problem was us getting it here. You know, and Eric was like, dude, I will drive you. I will drive across country. I was like, dude, you won't, dude, whatever. You're talking crazy. So long story short, one day, his brother was like, dude, send me the money to drive from Canada to Cali and I'll do it. And I said, hell no, it's too far. Okay, so Eric and him got really inventive. Okay, so they ended up finding a way to bringing that stuff from Canada over here. And I'm not gonna say how or how we did it because we never got in trouble for it. You know, we never got in trouble for it and thank God because we would've got a lot of time. Um, but anyways, the, the the marijuana that they had over there was bomb, bro. That shit, that outdoor funk was getting me, bro. And we were high as hell. You know what I mean? But there's a bad ending to this story. So, I'm doing this for one or two years, right? And Eric's brother just starts going crazy, bro. He starts spending money, buying cars, doing this, doing that. 
You know, and your boy OG Black's like, what the fuck is he doing, dude? What is he doing? Long story short, Eric's brother started having a heroin problem. You know? And he started going through his money. OG Black was sending him money back and forth when he could. And Eric told me, hey, dude, my brother's just strung out. Um, his brother moved to New York. The business fell apart because his brother just... He made our business fall apart. I had, to, I had to find another connection here in California. It just became too risky. It was too much problem, so we just stopped messing with Eric's brother. Um, you know, he had a sad ending, you know, and all my stories, I try not to be a sad or be, po I'm trying to be positive, but this one's got a sad ending too. You know, his brother was a heroin addict and he got really bad, man. And sometimes I feel he died because of me. He was found in a New York apartment um, his neighbors had called the cops because they smelled something bad. They said it smelled like rotten food. They hadn't seen their neighbor in a couple days. Um, Eric's brother overdosed on some heroin. Nobody found him. And he's been lying there. You know, your boy OG Black wants you guys to remember not to be in this life, man. You know, it gives you three things. Death, jail, or illness. You know, I'm here to make sure you guys don't fall into it. Any questions, any comments you have. You can leave them on my uh, Gmail. That's OG Black at Gmail. OG Black Show at Gmail.com. That's the same for my PayPal. It's OG Black Show at Gmail.com. You know, and you guys, I'm just trying to make sure you guys get out of this life. You know, I mean, here's some advice from OG Black. You know, my story, try not to be sad, man, but sometimes it happens. It's your boy, and I'm out.